Chapel, one win on his tour resume. Uphill putt here. And Chapel on a nice little roll. He's had birdies at 11, 12, 13, and 14. Go. 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 But another birdie here for Kevin Chapel at 18. Oh, you'd think normally you just take two putts from here, wouldn't you? But you made seven birdies in a row. Oh, come Whoa! On. <laughs> Do that, Kevin Chapel. That is 28. Remember, the front nine is only a par 34. Speaking at this level, eight birdies in a row. His 10th hole, Chapel, from the right rough. G tour record for consecutive birdies is nine. Mark Kalkovecchia, second round. Look at this. He's going to have a good crack at it. Second round of the RBC Canadian Open 10 years ago. Chapel. Oh, yes. Wow. <laughs> it's just I mean, it's nuts. Now, okay. Chapel, nine birdies in a row. Does he get a putt at 10? Second at the second. Yeah, good look at it. Just outside 20 feet. Didn't hit it. Left it short. Let that putting grip, Frank. Is that uh, too much? After nine in a row, we should all be trying that. <laughs> That's not bad at all. Now this is at the third hole. Kevin Chapel trying to get back on the birdie train. Get there. Good putt. Kevin Chapel. One of these sort of 430 yard par fours here that you have to take advantage of. Okay. Chapel again. Shot one over yesterday. He's nine under on his round today. Kevin Chapel to get to 10 under on his round. Oh man. He's in a slump, hadn't made a birdie since the first. <clears throat> he started at number 10, he made a par, and then reeled off nine straight birdies through that first hole. At the fifth. You're in the minority. I got it for you. <laughs> Thanks. Speechless. <laughs> Kevin Chapel trying to keep the roll going here at the fifth. Uh, he's going to have another great look. Yeah, it's good to see him back pain free, swinging the golf club well. He's feeling it. Shot to the 18th hole, which set up the winning birdie. Chapel. Remember, he shot 71 yesterday. Yeah. So. Cut looks like it's going to be four under. I mean to. Chapel with four holes to go. He's 10 under on his round. Par is 70. We're just talking at the break. Already being 22 birdies here today, but he's not in love with this one. Misjudged it. Still 15 greens in regulation in a row. 70 here at Greenbrier, this long birdie putt. Shade under 40 feet. Oh, that's a wonderful effort. It's a short hole. You can see 378. Put it in position. Ahead left. Kurt, you assume he knows where he stands, and, and if so, how's the mindset change? Both seven and nine considered birdie holes. And Chapel on the fringe, but not far from the hole, so he's going to have a great look. Boom. Yeah. yeah. He, he knows. Oh, yeah. Boy, the hole must look like a basket to him right now. 
And he has a lowish ball flight, third hardest hole on the golf course. Oh, got a good kick. As long as it stays up. Got away with it. Yeah, two's a tall order from there. He's going to have work left. Use the whole hole. One more to go. Sneaks it in. Should be down the left center if it's a good one. I think he's thinking 58. He might be. Tied the lowest. He might be. Eric set the number. Think lower. And that is in great shape. He's going to have a very short club in there. Chance to attack. The golf channel tower back there, it's a great target. And then if it draws, great. If not, you've got 15, 20 feet right of it. How about that? Just go at it. Kevin Chapel. he's going to have a chance to shoot 58. Not quite. So he will tap for a 59. There it is, Kevin Chapel. 10 months after back surgery, it is first PGA Tour start since November, has become the 11th player to record a sub 60 round in PGA Tour history.